Rebel Ridge. This is a new Netflix movie that, yes, I am a little bit late to talking about. Um, I, I, I'm not really sure uh, I was even going to talk about this movie because I didn't even find out this movie was coming out just until recently. And then I just kind of was like, all right, well, I want to post my build just early review early. So what do I have to review on my second channel? Well, it was this. So I don't usually talk about Netflix movies, to be honest with you guys, unless there's something big like Rebel Moon or things that I just have interest in. Netflix movies, they come out, they don't stay, and I, hear, and I don't see any marketing. I don't hear anything about them, so I just don't talk about them. But this one caught my eye, and I enjoyed this movie, uh, surprisingly. It's not a great movie. Basically, what this movie is, is it's a, it's a you don't know how, who you're messing with type thriller. Like, that kind of thing, where the basic setups are, are there. All the tropes with those kind of movies are there. But it works. This movie isn't great. But it's a, it's a good two hours of your time. So if you have a Netflix account anyways, check this out. Right? Sort of movie. Um, because this movie is a fun movie that throws back to that genre of movies that we don't really get a lot of those, hey, you don't know who you're messing with, man, and he's got a plan sort of movies. Uh, we don't get a lot of those type of action movies with all the tropes that those movies present uh, anymore. And so this movie felt like a fun novelty in that sense. Like, I'm watching it, having a really great time. That being said, that's also the biggest weakness of this movie. Like, even down to the posters, this movie is a throwback to those kind of movies. And as a throwback to those kind of movies, it doesn't really reinvent the formula. So if you're someone who's seen a lot of those movies, you're not going to get a whole lot of that out of, uh, a lot of, like anything out of this movie unless you absolutely love that style of movie and those style of genres me personally I don't but you know I was still able to enjoy it but I also recognize that as a weakness in this movie it's not really trying to reinvent the formula or do anything special all this thing has going for it itself is that it's got a decent direction to it which is better than a lot of these style of movies have um, and uh, it's got some pretty decent performances. So, don't go in expecting a lot. Just go in expecting a decent, fun movie. And, and I had a good time with it. And honestly, if this is in theater, this is one I recommend that you'd spend like two hours watching in a theater if there was nothing else out that week. Because it is a really charming, um, just re return to that genre that is fun doesn't really reinvent the wheel but sometimes that's okay I feel like it's nice to have genre throwbacks you know yeah there's movies that you can call cliche and not really doing anything new absolutely I get that but sometimes that's okay because it just works so well what it's doing to me like someone told me Home Alone's really generic and they don't really like it there's like tons of kid adventure movies I'm like yeah but does that really matter when Home Alone is so fucking good at what it's doing, you know? That's kind of the thing here. I don't know. Let me hear your thoughts, like, share, and subscribe. Did you check this out movie out? Do you plan to? Let me know.